More than a hundred ships are still standing by outside the Panama Canal, even though wait times to cross the canal have been slowly improving each day. An unprecedented drought has reduced water levels, forcing authorities to cut down on the number of daily crossings and to impose weight restrictions on ships, slowing down operations at this key trade artery that unites two oceans but depends on fresh water to function. Any hiccup in the canal's operation can quickly ripple through the global economy as shipping prices increase for each day these vessels spend out here at sea waiting for a spot to cross. Some ship owners have opted for alternative routes, increasing costs. Shipping experts say this is another grim sign for a global economy under pressure by many supply chain challenges, mostly related to a changing climate. It's worry and it's a wake-up call for for us. Uh, I think the, the the project to provide more water to the Panama Canal is something that is on the table in this moment. Yet that could take years to happen. In the meantime, less business means less revenue for the canal and higher prices for consumers. The canal's authority says the restrictions will cost them at least $200 million in lost revenue in the next fiscal year, while prices have been going up for ships waiting in line. Each additional day can cost between $20,000 to $45,000 more depending on the size of the ship. Skipping the line, buying a slot in special auctions organized daily by the canal can now cost up to $900,000 from an average of $400,000. And finally, the maximum allowed draft means that larger ships now need to send some of their cargo on land, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars more to use trucks and trains. Experts say it's too early to estimate how much of these added costs will translate into higher prices, but that they definitely will. But lifting current restrictions will not be possible until sufficient rain returns. If they don't do this, we're not going to be able to attend uh, any more ships. We're going to have to restrict uh, the draft more. And you have to understand that it's not only the canal. The water is also for the human consumption in Panama City. A difficult balance that will require costly infrastructure changes to maintain the canal viable in a future with more frequent and extreme weather conditions. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Panama. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.